Hi, I'm Ann Gage of ConfidentHorsemanship.com here with another quick tip to help you boost your confidence. So what's with the rocking chair, you might ask? Well, it's to help you with your canter and your sitting trot because this is sort of the movement your horse has in the, either of those gates. So if you can, find yourself a good old fashioned porch rocking chair and bring yourself so you're sitting near the edge of the seat, not so far forward that you're going to fall off, obviously, but not sitting back in it. And then keeping your shoulders still, just move your seat back and forward, back and forwards. Feel your seat bone pushing the chair back and forwards. Pelvis tips back, pelvis comes forward. Keep the shoulders still. So as you're rocking, Your shoulders aren't moving. It's all in the seat. It's very similar to how you should be when you're sitting the sit trot or the canter. And if I, you can see the chair is moving quite a bit. If I lock up my seat, I limit how far the horse can move. And if I bring my shoulders back and push from my shoulders, I really can't get the chair to rock properly. So, Practice this. You can also use an exercise ball if you don't have a rocking chair handy, but rocking chair is great. And let your hips feel your seat bones. Let your hips rock backwards and forwards in time with your horse. That's your quick tip for today. As always, enjoy the ride.